Hey everyone! Today I'll be showing you how to turn regular old packing tape into what I call paint tape. And then I'll show you how I like to use that paint tape in my art journals. If you make your own paint tape and have any tips for everybody else, please leave them down in the comments so people can learn from it. Alright, now to begin! So don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. So you need regular old acrylic paint or as you can see I also use some tempura paint. I think that's how you say it. Just cheap stuff. You don't need nothing fancy for this. And then a piece of cardboard so that it will be easy clean up. And put down your base color like I just did with the brown into a good quality about the shape of your tape. And then add your accent colors on top of that and your highlight colors as well as I did with the white here in a second. Now this does use a lot of paint so if you're worried about wasting your paint it might not be what you need to do at the moment. But if you have a lot of paint and you want to get rid of it this is a good, good way to do so. So then get a piece of packing tape not too big or it's hard to manage. I think I used about 12 inches here and then you stick the sticky side down into the paint and leave the shiny side up. Now the first one's not going to get complete coverage so just use your finger and lightly spread it so that it is filled up onto the packing tape and when you're done lift it off. It will stick sometimes so just pull. And there it is. So the next step will be to dry it and you'll want to put the shiny side down and leave the wet paint up. That way it can dry. And then you do it again. Now you get another piece of about a foot of packing tape. Put the sticky side down into the paint. Lightly touch it if you need to spread it a little bit. And yes, your fingers are going to get messy. So have a towel to wipe, wipe them off as you go. And lift it up. And as you can see, there was some holes where the paint didn't cover the tape. So just stick it back down in some paint and fill it up. Use your fingers if you need to. And there you go. Now remember, shiny side down, wet paint up to dry. So once you feel like you're running out of some paints and like your accents and highlight colors don't quite stand out anymore, just add a little bit more. And repeat with your tape. crisper again. If you have any holes, just re-dip. There you go. If you find that you're running out of your main color, just use like an old gift card or some sort of scraper and scrape the paint to the center again. And then add more of your base color and then your accent and your highlight color on top. And then just repeat from here. And do it over and over and over again until you have as much pink tape as your heart desires. I also want to note here that this is not my idea. I have found it elsewhere. The first place I actually saw it was on Nana's place. She did a little video and it was in there. I will link to her video in the description so you can see it. But as she says as well, it was not her idea either, so I had no idea who started this. And now a note for drying. Because there's so much paint on these strips of packing tape, it takes a while to dry. So make sure you set up an area where you can leave it overnight so that it can completely dry. All right, I'm gonna speed up the rest of this part because it's just the same thing over and over again. And I will catch you when it's the next day and they have dried. Okay, and this is a piece of paint tape that dried overnight and you can see there was a little bit of cracking 
where the edges of the tape curled up while it was drying. You could choose not to use it or, or use it. I liked the effect. Also, I found that some of the paint was still kind of sticky. And I think that was just because of the adhesive on the tape, so don't stack them or they're going to stick together. And then if you have leftover paint on the shiny side, it just easily scrapes off. It's not an issue, so don't worry about that. I also found that you can use a baby wipe and just wipe it right off as well. This is why I love paint tape, because you can cut it up and make shapes out of it and then add those shapes to your art journal. So how I do this is I put some glue on the bottom, I just used a glue stick because I had a feeling that I've, if I used my gel glue, it would have lifted some paint. So glue stick and then glue it to some paper. That gives it some strength to it and makes cutting easier and also makes it so it's easier to place into your art journal without it sticking all over the place. Here I am cutting it out, going on the edges. And I cut the ends off that I didn't like. If I didn't like them, that is. Looks like I liked this one. But if there was like an end that wasn't completely covered, I just cut it off. Here I am starting to cut those shapes out. I was also thinking that when you're making the paint tape, you could use glitter. You could use maybe some metallic watercolor paint and drip it into the paint so you got those shiny areas. I was also thinking you could cut out shapes in like cardstock and put it on top of the paint so that when you take the, the packing tape and put the sticky side down, those shapes would stick to the paper. No, those shapes would stick to the tape and then the paint would spread out around it. It'd probably make some cool effects as well. And that's all there is to paint tape. Super easy, anybody can do it if you have some extra acrylic tape laying around, some packing tape. Enjoy your week and I'll catch you later.